For this video, I want to share with you kung paano ako nagtitipid. Kahit kasi tinatanong sa akin na, Ja, paano ka nagtitipid? Bakit ang tipid-tipid mo? I want to be like you. So, ito, I hope na in this few aspects, it will really help you financially even in this small way. Okay? Okay, for food, my view on food is that yung I eat for health kasi. So, it doesn't matter kung galing pa sa mahal restaurant or sa fast food. As long as I have um, the carbs that I need, the protein that I need, the fiber that I need. So, as much as possible, baon pa rin talaga. So, hindi pwede sa akin na lagi bumibuti sa labas. Kung kaya mong baon, magbaon ka. Pero kung hindi kaya, focus on kung ano yung kailangan ng katawan mo. So, kung kailangan mo is protein, then buy protein kahit na sa fast food lang siya. If you need carbs, then carbs lang. If you need, you need fiber, then bumili ka ng gulay ng ulam. So, hindi rin ako fan ng eating out unless the purpose of eating out is really to try dishes. Or if, it, if it's just an ordinary day, then as much as possible, um, baon talaga and keep it as simple as possible for the nutrients of the body. For toiletries naman, di ba na, like we have shampoo, we have deodorant, we have yung mga feminine wash. Hindi ko naman sinasabi na wag mo sila ganito kasi syempre kailangan siya for our hygiene. Pero kung isipin mo sa, sa unang panahon, wala naman talaga sa technically ganun, tubig lang. So yung mga whatever na cleanser that we have are just a bonus na um, kumbaga ng innovation na lang siya. So we use as little as as we can na syempre decent amount pa rin to clean our body. Pero like kunwari pag facial wash, just a drop. And then kahit sabi mong mamix lang siya, madelate lang siya with the water, okay lang yan. You don't need to put a lot of... Um, you don't need to put a lot of product on your face, even sa shampoo mo. Kaya idalit mo lang siya yung water para ma-prolong yung toiletries mo. Okay, for groceries naman, um, if you all, if you guys don't know, I'm really into cooking. So, importante sa akin, syempre, yung quality ng ingredients. Pero yung budgeted talaga yung shopping budget natin. So, we really need to pick our groceries, right? So, we, you must focus on the basics like meat, eggs, um, yung mga gulay. Tapos yung mga condiments, kasi usually doon naman pumapasok yung mga additional cost. Eh, syempre yung condiments, gusto mo sumarap, gusto mo ng betsin, gusto mo ng toyo. Pero actually hindi naman talaga sila kailangan. I mean, if you think about it, maluto lang yung food, buhay na tayo. Pero syempre, we just want something palatable. So, we add these condiments. Pero we try to keep it as simple. Even salt nga lang po yun eh. Masarap ng pagkain yung salt. So, for me, sa groceries, you pick the right ingredients, tapos minimal condiments. Just use your creativity para mas sumarap pa siya and healthy. So not too much additives. And then, it doesn't matter naman kung ano pa yung brand na yan. Kahit SM Bonus, okay lang yan. Kasi meat is still meat. As alam ko, syempre may iba organic, mas may benefits. But at the end of the day, kung talagang titipid ka, it doesn't really matter. What is important, you get nourished, you have food for your body. And kung gumanda yung buhay mo, di... Why not in, parang buy premium ingredients next time, di ba? For utilities naman, usually the most parang mataas na nagpo-consume ng kuryente ay yung mga heat exchange machines. So, yung mga kuryente, oven, or usually yung ula namang oven lahat. So, hindi natin aircon na lang. For me, what I think para makatipid ka sa aircon is don't open it the whole night then open maybe a few zero mga one hour to two hours lang and then you close it in the middle of the night para hindi tuloy tuloy yung konsumo or ang masasuggest ko kung talagang um nahitan ka at gusto magtipid mag aircon ka ng dun sa highest speed or maghanap ka ng invest ka sa electric fan na malakas talaga yung um, hangin niya and then at the same time yung mga suit mo na pang gabi make it as parang comfortable as possible para breathable talaga siya Huwag ka na sumot mga pajama na mga kapapaan, hindi na uso yun ngayon. Mag, ano ka na lang yung, gusto nyo basta kung anong manipis, ganyan. Sa transportation naman, alam ko talaga sobrang crisis talaga yung traffic sa Pinas. So, hindi ko naman talaga masasuggest na mag, um, mag-jeep kayo, mag-try kayo. Kung hindi naman talaga siya aabot dun sa goal mo na kailangan makarating kayo sa isang location na presentable pa rin. Siyempre, yung best option na natin nowadays is grab, pero medyo mahal siya. Although for me, hindi na siya um, parang medyo wala na tayong magagawa dun since monopolizing the system. What we can do is just maximize the trip that we have. 
So, kung nalang nasa grab ka and may ka namang internet sa phone mo, so, as much as possible, do a lot of errands in your phone. Siyempre, magari, ang gumagawa ba hindi ka, you're looking for clients, or doing, um, I don't know, you're reading or something, para ma-maximize yung isang trip. For me, it's not about na lang sa kung ano yung gastos pa sa grab, but at least maximizing the trip na kapag kunyari saan ka man magpunta, you do a lot of your errands na there. So, it's, parang it's more about planning your trips than really um, yung price ng transportation mo. For makeup and skincare, I don't really use branded, yung super high-end brands. Like, kunyari, mga MAC, ganun. Um, never pa ako nag-MAC. Pero right now, what I'm using right now is Maybelline. Kung tutuusin talaga kasi, the purpose of makeup is to look presentable with a client. So, ako, hindi ako talaga particular with concealing everything. Kung may kita nyo, meron ako mga um, imperfections dyan. But, ang purpose lang naman is to look presentable. So, it doesn't matter naman kung kita yung closet. As long as the, um, the client feels that you put in the effort to be more presentable. As long as the purpose is achieved, okay na yun. It doesn't have to be MAC. It doesn't have to be whatever brand pa yun nandiyan. And even in skincare, I believe that the best skincare pa yun is less stress. So, even if maglalagay tayo ng mga kung ano-ano dyan, kung lagi naman tayo siguro ng galit, or madaling bitterness, so talagang lalabas at lalabas sa skin. So, importante na may proper rest. At the same time, kung sa skincare naman, I'm trying to veer towards organics na. Kasi hindi dati parang masyadong akong mga chemicals. Basta gusto ko na lang mga organics. Or sometimes I'm also interested in trying out yung mga natural ways. Like, kunyari, mayroong mga egg white wash, ganyan. Pero hindi, pa na, hindi ko pa napuntaan yung daan na yun. Pero it's something that I'm interested about. Okay, for gadgets, I'm very very thankful na hindi talaga ako mag-gadget person. But, isa lang yung parang gadget na syempre mostly ginagamit natin which is phones. To be honest, before na Singapore pa ako, I'm a Samsung user. But once I came back, eh, hindi naman ganun kalaki na kinikita ko from Singapore. So now, I shifted to Asus which is where I spent around 8,000 plus lang and it was way back 2016 ko pa binili and it's still working. So, I'm very happy with the with the quality of Asus and it gets my work done naman. So, whatever it is, kung Samsung man yan, Apple man yan, or Asus, as long as it gets a job done, then I'm all for that. So, it doesn't matter talaga kung ano man yung mga gadgets na meron kayo. As long as it gets the task done, then why is that? Why do you need to buy all those expensive stuff? Expensive brands, di ba? Okay, for damit and accessories, talaga hindi talaga ako rin kasi mabili ng damit. So, Sometimes, kung merong mga damit yung kapatid ko, hinihiram ko na lang. Pero if you don't have um, yung kapatid na mahiraman, I suggest that if you buy some clothes, na bagong clothes, first things first, kukonsider mo lagi yung weather ng Philippines. So, dapat yung, yung whatever that you buy would adapt to the weather sa Philippines. Hindi lang nagkat kayo, pwede yung patungan. Pero pag mait na, pwede yung use at least lang. So, I prefer yung mga cotton wear. Tapos, simple lang, always parang gusto ko yung mga classic para pwedeng timeless, para hindi ka, hindi ka palit na palit, depende sa trend. So, that's one way kasi of um, mag-prepared sa damit para hindi rin ka lagi bili ng delay at the same time, um, madali siya i-match. Sa accessories naman, hindi ko rin, uh, hindi rin ako sobrang accessories. Pero, as simple, like, kunwari ganito, simple earring, I know hindi siya sobrang bongga, but it adds parang basta it adds something okay na yun parang don't, people don't care naman how you kung, anong, kung suot naman yung cutter di ba na gray na ear cuff or what as long as it, it makes you look presentable then okay na yun okay, for vitamins and supplements previously ay meron ako multivitamins na tinitake tapos eventually nag-isa na ako and then I stopped kasi pa, ano siya medyo out of budget siya for me so, what I use now is medyo natural muna. I still take vitamin E, calcium, and vitamin C as my body needs it. So, I know hindi rin siya ganun kasapat. Depende, actually, depende talaga sa katawan mo. So, sometimes na kailangan mo talaga ng more vitamin C than usual. So, you just take it as needed. So, you, I try as much as possible to also take in yung mga superfoods available in our backyard. So, meron kami malunggay, alugbati. So, that one, kahit paano, 
it brings nutrients to my body without having to spend for so much on supplements. For leisure naman, hindi naman kasi ako talaga mahilig na rin mag-travel, hindi rin ako mahilig mag um, whatever your movies. Masaya na ako sa muna rin mag-drawing, magluto, or magsulat. So, for me kasi, it's all about experience. So, when you step out of the house and you're looking for leisure, actually, you just need to find something interesting around it. So, kunyari, may makita mo si Manong, si Manang, kausabi mo siya, know their story. That's actually leisure for me because I get to know the person. It doesn't have to be a movie, it doesn't have to be travel. As long as I get to meet new experiences, new people, and kung gusto mo talaga makatipid, try commuting. Kasi in commuting, marami kang ma-experience na hindi mo pa na-experience. So, ayun lang, yun yung mga pagtitipid tips ko. I hope that it will help you in a way if you want to know more about my tips, about my lifestyle, sa pagtitipid, about finances, you can always message me anytime para mapag-usawan pa natin. O, oh, diba? Mas masaya talaga pag nakapagtipid tayo and at the same time, we enjoy that we save. Kasi what we save, it means when we save something, we get to have a um, spare fund for other things that are more important to us. So, hindi lang siya puro gadgets, hindi lang siya puro kain. There are things that are more important in life, like giving, um, helping others. So, it's really a noble thing to save. So, come on guys, save tayo!